Well, their 40-year bromance was one of the greatest in rock and roll history, but when Bruce Springsteen sax player Clarence Clemens passed away six years ago, fans thought the music and the magic was over. But then this happened. <laughs> so good, right? Clemens' nephew, Jake, auditioned, won the coveted role as Springsteen's sax player and onstage sidekick. Jake Clemens playing the Cadillac Lounge tonight and joins us here this morning. We are honored. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. I know you played Cadillac Lounge last night, too, so you're a little tired, but you're all about the music, which is phenomenal. How did the show go last night? It was great. Yeah, it was a great show. Great audience. It's such a cool space, you know. Um, Sam Grosso runs that place, and uh, it's our second time there. And yeah, great audience, great feel. Great people. People are really looking forward to the show uh, tonight as well. Let's talk about going back, uh, traveling back, to, you know, six years ago, um, you know, passing of your uncle, and there was such a legacy there. Mm. Now, when you auditioned for the role, were you, were you nervous? Because I hear it wasn't the, the cleanest audition at first. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I, I like to compare it to like Bible stories. You know, it was uh, one of those moments where, like, really, I don't know. The, the the galaxy is in flux, you know. So, uh, and, and honestly, I didn't really even consider it an, an audition at the, at the time. Um, and Clarence and I were really close, so it was like a, mm. I don't know, just to see what would happen, kind of a thing. What did? Were, how did you feel going in? Did Bruce immediately take you in, or how, how did the whole process go? Yeah, well, that was the thing. I mean, like I grew up with, he was Uncle Bruce, mm -hmm. you know. That they were all family, so um, it was a. A change in gears, you know, like watching him for myself, you know, turn from my, you know, uncle to <laughs> my boss. The uh, boss, <laughs> the boss, right? <laughs> now, when you're touring with him on stage, there's such a phenomenal um, reception from fans. You know, they're sort of in a trance. I was saying, watching you, you sort of, you see you like this, get lost in the music, and you were saying that this is that's that's what it's all about, right? You don't get sick of tired tired of playing these songs because it's yeah. just about the music. Yeah, absolutely. And, and for me, it's it's it. it boils down to that moment, you know, it's a singular moment, and uh, I don't know, it's that feeling of everyone being kind of like soaked into that one second and, uh, and going into the next second, you know, so uh, that's, that's what I'm all about. You say you don't consider yourself a rock and roll star, but you kind of are a big <laughs> deal, right? I don't know, I mean, <laughs> I love playing music, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a guy. Just a guy playing music. <laughs> Just a guy playing music. Uh, so you wrapped up your tour, um, obviously with the E Street Band earlier. But can we expect? Like, when are you guys going back out? That's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, but we do know what you're doing now. Um, you have released a, a new EP, uh, the song Janine, very near and dear to your heart. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a song that kind of, um, I don't know, spells out a, uh, a situation of uh, domestic abuse, and um, you know, we've started a, a, a campaign uh, to bring awareness basically um, for people to have uh, some information you know somewhere to go to um, and uh, and access to like women's shelters and uh, and just to be aware that they're in these terrible types of situations you said you wrote the song just from learning the stats if they're staggering yeah this the, the statistics are, are terrifying mm -hmm. I mean once you become aware of them if you don't do something about it you know, you have to kind of question your humanity at that point. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really, really horrible. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I just want to encourage people to, to get involved and, and have conversations about it. Absolutely. So very important. We wish you the best of luck tonight at the Cadillac Lounge. Luck, as if he needs luck. This guy's a rock star. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, you can uh, download uh, Janine. It's on iTunes right now, breakfasttelevision.ca. All the information. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet uh, you. Likewise. Thank you.